Welcome everyone. It's a highly okay podcast again. We've been we've been gone for about a week now. We've got a special guest in the building today. Her name's Sarah. Sarah. She's joined us from France, <laughs> uh, from Paris, from <laughs> Paris, and uh, yeah, she's been here for about a week now, and we're glad to have you on. Thank you so much for having me. Yep, and we've got this um, this dude who's been sick for about a year now. <laughs> it nearly suffered from a stroke. Happily. Almost died. <laughs> Almost died. Yeah, but he didn't. Th- thank God for the first episode. We're gonna have to deal with his um, loader. He made bollocks. it long Wisdom. enough so that he could speak French. Of course, yes. So now he knows yeah. a few sentences. Of course. Of course. Of course. Of course. Of course. You don't need to speak French. I'm just course. speaking an accent. Yeah, so um, what are we talking about? Omniscient. We're talking about omniscient. how... Was that the noun? Like I thought... Yeah, yeah, omniscient means knowing everything. Knowing, being an area. And for example, her being, talking about camping, the, the way <laughs> she went the other day. How, you know, if she was to look, you know, look back on it right. and tell the story, she'd be omniscient. So where did exactly. you go? Exactly. Uh, I can't remember the name. But we went to the mountains, okay. um, and it was really fun because we could only access it with really big SUVs. So I was told that it used to be UN SUVs, and then they got refurbished, repainted. Yeah, those are really nice. And yeah. so it's, it was so fun. We r- arrived at night, so it was all dark. Um, so when I woke up the next day, well, I didn't sleep, but um, the following day was just a discovery yeah. of where we exactly, were. Exactly, yeah, it's and, such a beautiful uh, place. So really, like, beautiful, yeah, and yeah. we were next to a river as well. And I went swimming, and it was super cold, but super <laughs> fun. And yeah. we just went uh, incredible. So you actually went swimming. I am the only person weather. that went swimming. Yep, right. it cleans you up from the dirt from the night before. That's exactly. why I like it. Yeah, but you yourself, I mean, like you're from France, you're from Paris, a pretty posh place. If you were to look at it from. <laughs> You know, bird's eye oh, view. Perspective. But, like, you've obviously come here and you're going camping and that was one of the things you wanted to do or was it just something you came here and thought and Addis said, we're going camping, what do you think about it? Or was that in your mm. initial plans? Uh, no, it wasn't in my initial plans. Actually, mm. I didn't really have initial plans. I just, uh, just knew I was visiting two friends. Mm. Uh, didn't really know when they would be free or whatever. I knew I was staying with someone else as well and just had no idea of what would happen. He just said, oh, we're going camping those days. So How awesome. How did you find <laughs> Addis? He, um, him? Yeah. Like... In terms of his personality, in terms of, or no, no, in no. Terms in terms of, of like, how did you, how did he become your yeah. host, and how did he? Yeah. So um, this summer, I was part of a, an international accelerator competition, and that's where I met Shavin and Shadi. And so I was coordinating with Shadi to come here, and he said, "Oh, I have the perfect host for you. He's used to hosting international people, and he has so much energy that even after work, he always frees That's himself so and runs everywhere, and he knows everyone, so, yeah, yeah. so it's through a mutual friend. But, but, like, obviously, there was a lot of people from a lot of people in that place, right? A, a lot of people from different places. In yeah, that place, absolutely. Right? So yeah. what made you think, okay, Kurdistan's the one I want to go to? Um... Because I knew that it's not necessarily a straightforward destination, and that uh, I had an opportunity <laughs> to. <laughs> who think? Who thinks? Okay, it's not a straightforward destination. I'm gonna go there. Like, you know what I mean? <laughs> I've never heard anyone uh, pick it by on purpose. Like, yeah, all yeah, the people yeah, that yeah. I've met that come to exactly. come here, foreigners. Yeah, all of them are like. So I was trying to go work. to Iran or Turkey, and then I was like, let me see what's like. So right next to it. Right. She's yeah, basically yeah. she's basically saw Purpose. that it was inconvenient and said, "I like that." <laughs> I, <laughs> do you know what I mean? She wanted That's to what my parents said. They're like, "Why do you need to go to a place like do that?" Do you know what I mean? So yeah. Confusing. So what was it? Did you just like Shadi and Shavin so much, and you said, "Oh, I want to go to this place." You know what I mean? Um, I do really, really appreciate yeah, them, yeah. but it's no, not even that. It's just really it was an inconvenient location, but I had an opportunity to make this trip uh, more like easier I guess yeah uh, people who knew the place yeah. could uh, yeah. introduce yeah, me to the right people and so I thought because mm. I don't think I would have come just alone and be in the city and be like oh what's up <laughs> Suli like yeah. what's yeah. happening <laughs> everything so yeah no it's good it's good you have them on board honestly yeah uh, Addis especially yeah, we'll, we'll have we'll have Addis on as guests soon yeah. as well so the, very interesting guy. the audience will know about him soon anyway um so you obviously attended this whole price thing yes and you met a lot of people through there and then obviously that's how you came to come to Kurdistan but what yeah. about like all these other weird places that you've been like you've been to I heard look sometimes you say things to me because we've been speaking for a couple of days <laughs> 
she says these couple things she's like oh I was in uh, Cameroon I was in um, Kenya and I don't even ask I'm just like alright she's just yeah. like what sort of person you know what I mean but like uh, why why why'd you go to these places um Again, <laughs> inconvenience. <laughs> no, no. Um, so Cameron and Kenya, and actually, funny story. This is from Cameron. The these two. Is that alligator? No, it's snake. Nice. That's even worse. God damn. Yeah, and I made this bracelet myself. Oh, you did? Yes. The snake one or the the snake one. one. That's snake skin. And this is a skin. Rasta man. Wait, let that be who, on the camera. Uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, snake skin. That's snake skin. That's yeah. crazy. That a friend and I cut. And uh, and we dried and it was crazy. I wish of I had videos did, with me, yeah. but the snake was still moving so, and his heart was still. How beating. did this happen? We were, <laughs> so we were in a Nico village in Cameroon. Mm, okay, and that's what they do for fun. No, <laughs> there was a menacing snake, <laughs> okay, and so right. it was dangerous to us. And so they just had a, a machete and right. they just like cut off the head and the the end of the tail. And my friend had the amazing idea to just skin it. And so that's what we did. Like an onion, right? Just exactly. Just and then we ate know. the snake because Why we not? were staying. Yeah. <laughs> of course, of course you With a friend who knows how to cook snake, and so it was just delicious. Wow, that's, wow. you don't find yeah. any, someone like that. How's every the day. texture? No. Uh, so how I describe it to people is, to me, it tasted like ham, but the texture was like fish. Yeah, white I, fish. I can imagine it, the texture. But it was exactly harder. Like fish. Yeah, like I don't fish, know right? why. Like it's I white. Like, yeah, I don't know. Exactly. Just pick it off, right? Like the yeah. Or yeah. the bone. Yeah, it's so funny. That sort and of um, it was very good. It's the uh, what about like obviously there's no bones and it was like it's really, it's really flexible. I mean, there it's is full like of the, muscles. There's a spine. Like, how exactly, you, like, yes. there is a spine, and, and that's how they move. The it. spine so, is you know the the bones are really really thin. I'd imagine and they're right? tiny. It's tiny. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. With fish, you can't even see the bones sometimes. The closest thing I have had to that is uh, frog legs, and that was kind of nice. Like, well, you had that. Yeah. Did they come from France? Yeah, I had it last year. <laughs> In Prague, yeah, nice, nice. Yeah, it was really nice. It was great. Well, I don't know if that's nice. I mean, you know, no, it, it actually Prague. tasted like chicken a little bit, softer texture, but okay. uh, it wasn't seasoned well. It was, oh, it was a white guy. <laughs> what white guys know <laughs> how to make uh, frog legs? I mean, we I mean, eat I guess them so, as yeah. a gourmet I can imagine, like, come food. You're not gonna put fucking curry no, it's just a little bit of salt and pepper. Like, I, I wish yeah. it was a little more. Yeah. Interesting yeah. spice, like yeah. uh, the spice. snail curry. Oh, sorry, not snail. You did have snails. I've as well heard that. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh, no. you guys have to come and eat it all. I mean, <laughs> is there like <laughs> really big snails? Like, I saw oh, no, no, it's tiny, tiny snails, tiny like snails. this, and you just have a little peaky thing, and, and we, you take it. Right. And is it, you just is it warm? It. No. Cold. Well, you can have them warm. Wow. Um, because you have to cook them, right? Mm. Who's the guy so. picking up the snakes off the street? And you're like, yeah, oh. exactly. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I wonder as well. I don't know where they come from. Who? I, I'm more this looks like a juicy one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm more curious about street. oysters. Like That's the one that I haven't tried that I want I have, to try. Yeah, it's pretty good. I tried them in Turkey and they replaced the oyster. Like I mean, they didn't replace it. They had the oyster. Right. They put like biryani rice. rice yeah, or whatever, yeah, I've like, had that. Right. They put that. lemon Yeah, as well. It wasn't that good. My dad loved it. It's all right. It's just a spoonful of like Rice. Slimy. Yeah, <laughs> slimy, slimy rice. rice. Yeah, yeah. So, very good. obviously, you come here. You've yeah. been here for how long? Since last Sunday. So, right. almost, almost a week. week. Almost a week. Six and days. how have you found it so far? Oh, don't get me started. You've loved it? So, 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 so much. It's been crazy. We were speaking about it with Aras on the way here, mm -hmm. uh, saying that it was particularly lucky because many things were happening. Uh, it was Rejwan's birthday last night. Uh, we went. <laughs> I don't know. That's how they call him. <laughs> uh, that's pretty cool. How do you though. pronounce I love his Sorry. name? It's, it's Rejwan. 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 Yeah, Rejwan. Yeah. But, Rejwan's uh, I mean, birthday. Rejwan's pretty cool. Yeah. Um, camping. Uh, going out for dinner mm. with, or going out for drinks with you guys. Uh, going to the bazaar. How do you say it? it's the bazaar? No, that's, that's <laughs> pretty good. We call it bazaar. Yeah. The bazaar. Yeah, what about like fine, the, the, going you, to the museum? Yeah, you've gone alone to a lot of these places, right? Um, mostly accompanied, actually. Most people yeah, really, really made their took the time to uh, take me to various okay. museums and whatnot. But did you do any traveling alone? Uh, no, not really. Zero? Not really. I always either go with people or, um, or visit people mm. or... Yeah, what about like, you, you've obviously met a lot of people since you've been here, <laughs> but what about the average person on the street? Like, so, uh, the thing you... is, I think I've been um, more in a bubble because That's I was I think, with yeah. uh, Anglophone speakers, yeah. mostly youth who really are extremely open-minded and extremely knowledgeable. So um, I think I would have a hard time to 
be able to describe. Oh, knowledgeable. Yeah, I, think <laughs> I think she's talking about us. <laughs> <laughs> um, so my only interactions with the the common person, I guess, would yeah. be when I would go shopping, uh, when right, we went to right, bazaar, right, when right, we would right, go right, to cafes, right. things like that. But yeah. it's very um, limited interactions because many of them don't speak English. And of course, so, of course, um, yes. yeah. Yeah, I was gonna ask how I was tried. your luck with people, random people with blood English. No, did you feel very, like you were uh, a foreigner, or, you know, walking through the streets? Um, yeah, because everybody stares. Yeah. Oh, really? It's yeah. So is that is that funny. something I've never seen that in my life? Really, it's unique to really, hear. Really, yeah? really, really, everybody stares. Oh man, how do you think they mean it? The curiosity. Yeah, you think so too. I think, I think I, yeah, I don't think there are really, really bad intentions behind it. No, no, no. Like, I never felt unsafe for anything. I mean, it's, really? oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That. No, it's everything is just really easy. Except people just look at you <laughs> like what? Yeah, everyone's trying to figure everyone out here. That's uh, no. I think that's a common. Yeah. Gesture. Yeah, I mean, sometimes I'm with Dre as well, and he's like tall and t- always wearing shorts and stuff. He's got his cat backwards, and everyone's just like looking Snap at this back. dude. Yeah. yeah, it's just I don't blame them, you know, because there's not many foreigners here, right? Okay. At the end of the day, yeah, as opposed to Holia, Holia has much more. Yeah, yeah. Foreigners. I mean, you know, but you know, if we can encourage foreigners to be comfortable here, then obviously it's better for us, better for the economy, better for our culture, Absolutely. you know. But yeah. she doesn't. It doesn't seem like it's bothered her in the sense that you're uncomfortable. Oh, no, absolutely not. I find it funny. It's just something, a little something that's different than any other place I've been in the world and that yeah. I find funny. I mean, we sh- sorry, we should take into account that you're unique in the way that <laughs> she doesn't find it uncomfortable that everyone's staring at her. <laughs> I mean, I guess so, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, it's good. It's good, it's good, it's good. Like and something that if I, yeah, exactly, you know. <laughs> So special. No, something I also find very interesting is there are many places that are only um, populated by men. So yeah. many instances all arrive and I'm the only woman and it's not bad at all. Uh, there is no, I'm, I never feel uncomfortable or anything, but it's just interesting to notice that. They are, they, it is dominated by men in most places. Especially the bazaar, like, you, you notice more and more. Yeah. yeah, some areas. Yeah, I mean, I don't know if you've noticed. There are in in some cafes that there's so there's such a little amount of women right. in there that they they've separated it. So there's like oh, yeah. men and women. There's like okay. a family area and a yeah. guy area. Oh, and no, I, I really hate that. Yeah, from one side, I'm really torn because from one side you're like, is is this, maybe it's necessary because a lot of the girls would uh, feel uncomfortable if it's one girl and like twenty five guys right. in the place. But at the no, end, at actually, the same time, you feel lucky. Like, is, oh, lucky me. <laughs> it, yeah, it depends on who you ask, I guess. Yeah. But on the other yeah. side, I'm like, why are you really separating us in the first place? Are we savages? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> are, are, you, are you too good for us? Which one is it? It's true. I mean, even as a business, like you look at it, some, so many times you'd go to a place with your boys and there's so much space in the family section and yeah. they won't let you sit there oh. because they won't let you sit. You, you, obviously, the men's section is full, right? Yeah, family section has a lot of space. You want money, right? You want I I, I want your services, but you're not going to give it to me because of this little rule that you have. It's interesting. Uh, I was wor- I, when I was working with that cafe a few mm. months ago. Uh, the guy was like, you know, the love cafe. They were like, uh, we're trying to make the family area smaller and smaller and just turn into a guy place uh, because guys spend more money when they mm-hmm. come. They they buy the shisha. They have their tea. Blah blah. But if a girl and a guy come on a date, they just you know get a milkshake, and that's like not enough for them. Yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. They, a cute date do, is not profitable for. Fair enough. A mm. restaurant. I mean, if you uh, if you own like a Nutella, I love Nutella, please. It's, women are gonna dominate that. You know? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like we we hardly see men going to those places. Remember that the other time that we went there. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. yeah, it's dominated by women. But yeah, I guess every. That's interesting. Every demog- demographic has their own. Yeah, the shisha cafes, yeah. especially. But I feel like it's changing though. But you guys would uh, know better than I. But I've been told that there are certain areas that you used to have only men. So, for example, there's this uh, exterior cafe, Jan Cafe, <laughs> oh, yeah, that opened great. up, and so apparently. Ariz was telling me that around there, um, no woman would ever come just because it's uh, next to a really big road, and then when it gets dark and everything. Anyways. That's true. But then. Uh, since Jen opened, things have changed and more and more women started spending time there. And exactly. so there were many exactly. when I went. So it's interesting. Yeah, it's, that place is significant because uh, of the traffic, right? Right. Women would go past there, but they would but they never would sit stop. down. They would yeah, never, never sit have down. a tea over there. Yeah, they would yeah. never sit down. 
because you're on the road and right. you know you're not inside you're not secluded at all yeah but really honestly it's a it's a really nice place and yeah. it's it feels really good when you're there you know mm-hmm. there's girls that are you know comfortable yeah. there i love yeah. how it's the little details that they haven't done they're serving tea and coffee like everyone else but right. it's the, the little touches that they have done like yeah. those, like cute little benches or the yeah music they're playing in the background it just gives you a new vibe you, you don't even feel like you're in Seoul like it, where it's just yeah. and the old dominated by guys and everything it's yeah. exactly, super nice yeah. mm. and I mean it was my first introduction to mm. generosity here because they refused that we pay for our tea Seriously? Oh, that was the, the very first evening when I arrived we were coming back from the airport and uh and so I was just saying, oh, let's just like go and have tea. And so we did. And then they were like, no, man, no, it's on us. <laughs> That's nice. So, That's, nice. That's nice. one of the nice things about our culture. People really persist on paying for you. Hospitality. Yeah, it's yeah wherever it is. I think it's, mm, I don't know, Cameron was, ex- yeah, people in Cameron were extremely hospitable. Mm-hmm. Um, and here, I think those two places are the two places in the world that really people that I've seen. Yeah. Um, yeah, I've strangers. Heard generous. Strangers. Yes, you know? utter strangers. It's weird. Yeah. It's incredible. I mean, I've heard I, Kurds yeah. being compared to people like Spanish people uh, and even people in South America a lot, like in terms of generosity and like being the same kind of character. Uh, more. Yeah. Even, Warm. Yeah. Like that's the. Yeah. Word uh, I don't know. No, I would think the Kurds are very different than Spanish really? or. And then um, in Latin America, I went to Ecuador and Brazil. Um, no, you guys are different, but in a very good I'd way. I'd love to hear how, though. <laughs> uh, let's see. Um, let me think. How are you guys different? Um, Physically? I mean, yes, obviously. <laughs> no, I mean, that's a <laughs> good start. place to start, yeah. Uh, so maybe in terms of... Different. I don't know. Yeah, we, we, I don't it's think they're so as hospitable, but they're as hospitable as us. Like, I, I've met a lot of Spanish people and stuff. They're nice, but... They don't. They're not exactly superficial, and they they're, they're superficial in their niceness. Like uh, uh, with us, mm. they like that person's never going to see you again. The person who gave you the tea, yeah. they don't. They're not asking for anything in return. Right. This happens yeah. to be maybe a good advert for them. <laughs> you know what I mean? But you know they never expected Absolutely. that, and it's it's really that I, I really like that myself. It's one of the. I'm not gonna say yeah. It is one of the few things that I like about our culture. <laughs> yeah. I have a really well, like, short list so for far. For example, well, when we were oh, that's so sad because I have a, a longer and it gets longer I, I know, every single day. So, um, but for example, when we went camping, um, there was one other woman here who was uh, an adult and she was wearing a perfume. Mm-hmm. And she had this small little like perfume bottle, mm-hmm. and uh, and I was telling her that she smelled really nice, and she just gave me the bottle. Oh wow! So I, now uh, I'm gonna have her perfume forever, and then yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, gave me a book. Nice. So many things, you know, people just wanting to share what they have, whatever it is, uh, small little touches mm-hmm. like that, and people are just so incredible, so incredible, yeah. and the mountains are so incredible as well. No, oh, I'm yeah, I'm, I'm really so glad you've had that experience with us. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. And those, uh, as a tourist, like that's what checks the boxes for you, being able to take those little things, like the little book, or even the smell is really, really uh, powerful. Intimate like it's powerful. intimate, yeah, yeah, like you're going to have that for the rest of yeah, your life. Yeah, the scent is yeah. very, yeah, it reminds well, not you for the rest of, of your life, but you know, you're going to always, you know, associate that smell to, you know, what reminded you of that camping. Yeah. You know, sometimes you listen to a, a song yeah. when you were at that place and it reminds you of that time or yeah. a smell that reminds you of, you know, maybe it's yeah. alcohol or something, <laughs> you know what I mean? But it reminds was... you of a night that you want to forget. <laughs> but there was one song that we kept on playing all weekend. What was so... that? I can't remember what it's called. I didn't. Oh, was it a Kurdish song? No. Oh, okay. It was a um, like North American song, and I wrote it down so I could check it out mm-hmm. after. But um, anyways, like that's kind of the anthem for the weekend. In that's a way, good. As you yeah, said, yeah. Nice, nice. Whenever I'll listen to that song, wherever I am. Exactly. I'll be Just try not to overplay it. Yeah, <laughs> so you, to dilute so you, the effect. Exactly. Yeah, I feel like a song oh, never makes your ringtone or alarm because oh, you're yeah. really excited to hear it. <laughs> because it starts haunting, you're being alerted every time you hear it. So that's why I can not listen to a lot of J. Cole songs because you I. You make it as your ringtone. It, it was my ringtone. Every time I would hear it, I'd be like, I would reach for my phone, like as a. Uh-huh. I've been conditioned to yeah. pick up calls when yeah, I. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You've had that for years, man. Yeah, man. Yeah. I changed it. I finally changed it. It's so funny because there's a very annoying ringtone that is kind of like a 
alien ringtone on iPhones. Oh, you know I that think, one? Yeah, okay, think, and so that's what I used about. to have as a ringtone, and everybody always found it really weird. And uh, and Ares's mom <laughs> has the same ringtone, and so every time her phone rings, I think it's oh, mine. Yeah. And it's so funny because we're two people who come from such different countries, and so true. And we have that same. What? Ringtone. So like, it's, it's, so it's not one of the defaults. It's like I, I think it is. Is it one of the default uh, ringtones? Sounds terrible. Like, let me just um, see yeah, it already exists on the. On right, the, right. Yeah. I see. I see. That's but nice. it's people don't like it. Yeah. <laughs> it is quite annoying, and so when I hear it from her, I understand why people got annoyed at my ringtone. Yeah, um, sometimes like I put, I got I put on a reminder, like well, know, during class it might come on. And it's everyone else's alarm. They're like, ah, take it away. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? But yeah, um, those associations are powerful. And I'm glad that yeah. you know you're going to remember us in a good way. You're leaving tomorrow, right? Yes. Cool. It's so still time night, to yeah. ruin it, but we're going <laughs> to. No, I don't think it's going to happen. You can't. can't yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, well, we're glad you had that experience, like you said. And how about the food? Mm. Good question. Incredible. So, really? what did you try? What didn't you try? Um, okay, I can't remember the names. Okay. Many things with lentils, beans, right. uh, <laughs> kind of soups. Um, so, there's lentils. So, yeah. 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 Uh, today, uh, Rejo, um, Hazan's mom made little patties. Ah, uh, Hazan's mom, sorry. Uh, made little beef patties okay. with uh, onion and yeah. other things. I don't Kubas. I think so. Uh, so, there I was. Think so. Th- was it like. Um, uh, something on the like outside grenade, and then grenades. is there something in no. uh, was there mince meat inside it's mince meat all of it oh shifter oh, oh, oh yes shifter, yes yeah. exactly yeah, yeah, yeah. That. I that call them so yeah. good it's great yeah, yeah. So, 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 so good shifter's retarded great. hamburgers <laughs> <laughs> something like that mini yeah. hamburgers and they're also, great also yeah. the fruits are so delicious yeah the fruit really, yeah yeah it's, because they're all organic and so very tasty exactly exactly that's super nice well, did you like the pomegranate this is the pomegranate season yeah yeah they're everywhere Pomegranate juice, everything. Yeah. The you oranges know, the, are amazing. This year, I've started to appreciate like a thing, something I didn't think I would appreciate at this age. And it's just fruits and vegetables. Yeah. They're just fucking cheap and tasty. And they're so good for uh, your health I've, as well. Honestly, I've because been realizing how yes. much how much shit you can get for such little money. Yeah. Especially, I I got yeah. seven bananas for like what uh, equivalent to. Uh, 50 cents you know? that's incredible it's so cheap right? in yeah. Europe it's quite expensive actually yeah. and fruits are very expensive yeah. from yeah. elsewhere mm-hmm. um, so Spain would be one of the closest places but then it's also um, Latin America and wherever North Africa a lot mm-hmm. and uh, and they're not as tasty and it's always filled with GMO stuff yeah, all the time so. and stuff like that. Yeah. Yeah. We, just, we just pick off the tree and you know just go yeah yeah. And people have the luxury of having their own big gardens and big, uh, like, you know, summer houses where they can grow their own, yeah. you know, yeah. like you guys. Yeah, you yeah, have yeah, pomegranates, yeah. which is amazing. Pomegranates are nice, yeah. I mean... Is there a summer house in the um, small city town that's on the other side of the yeah, tunnel? Sita, C- yeah. Oh, yes, Is it yes, there? Yes, oh, yes, 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 yes. Yeah, we have friends uh, around places Cita. there. Nice. Uh, it's very nice yeah. to go yeah. there. Yeah, SeaTac's pretty nice. It's um, yeah, it's soon it's gonna become really, really even nicer. But like people Why? just, because I just feel like uh, it's gonna come like, like the Hollywood Hills. Uh, uh, okay. Don't you worry, <laughs> it's gonna get there. <laughs> but it's just uh, it's a lot of uh, rich people live there. They have their secondary houses there, or even right. their you know actual houses there, their homes. Yeah. And it's just really beautiful, first of all. Uh-huh. And the, it's always just a bit colder, which is good okay. because it's usually hot here. Yeah. Might not be that good during the winter though, because I've had you know. Uh, a couple of my uncle's house their pipes getting frozen what? yeah, yeah it's, it's pretty crazy it gets really cold yeah, yeah. yeah. something but, that's incredible here is the, the difference between your different seasons like how it gets extremely extremely yes. hot like isn't it, hotter is it, than I'd never isn't it like that in Canada yeah. though um, it never gets as hot and it gets maybe a bit colder than here yeah, but I've yeah, been told yeah, that here yeah. it can get to minus 20 degrees celsius uh, degrees, I, mean, oh. I mean no I wouldn't go as Celsius far as that. okay Celsius no no, no 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 not Celsius no maybe okay. like 5, 6 oh yes yeah. oh yeah, my yeah, yeah. okay so yeah, yeah. yes okay here but then yeah so Canada is more extreme mm-hmm. in the winter but then never gets as hot yeah, yeah. 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 what about France like uh, I hear you know I, I was always confused they would say there's a huge heat stroke in Europe like mm. it's around 25 Celsius and I'm like what that's just a Tuesday here like, <laughs> <laughs> no not <laughs> Nothing... 25 it's like when it gets uh above 30 is it the humidity or like no what no, is no, it no. really it's the really same bad? like um just like you guys here uh, i don't know how you survived your summers 
but for us when it's above 30 it's unusual and so uh, in the past few years we had many instances of it being 35 degrees celsius things like that which people are not used to those temperatures so they don't yeah you guys it's laugh hilarious because to for me. you Come it's on, like they look at the closet and it's just and jackets like, what? and they get days off <laughs> it's like it's like 32 outside and they get the day off because yeah. it's like it's not healthy to work apparently <laughs> yeah. no but it's like, true, we don't even have electricity and like no but you have like to fans yeah you have to take yeah. you have to take into consideration like it's it's a lot more uh humid in canada i'd imagine that's not what i would really. imagine would be the yeah the, no. uh, the thing that because 35 is i mean 35 is hot I mean, I was 25 is you're nothing. You're so good at picking. No, 25 is nothing, is but 25 oh, okay. is normal. But 35, uh, above 30, starts to get unusual. And so uh, it's bad for elderly people. <laughs> you guys what love weird, it. Like, I don't know how you guys survive. <laughs> side effects of the sun. Like, yeah. bad for no, the old but people. it's because people, yeah. <laughs> old people stay indoors. <laughs> <laughs> Remind themselves to hydrate more, drink mm. more water and everything. And so, yeah, that's why... We care for our population, and so uh, I don't know. I just feel like you guys sure have really weak old people. Like, <laughs> uh, maybe we have brittle spirits, or yes, like some first that, world problems. Possibly. Yeah. 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 I mean, if that's a problem, I'd, yeah, I'd exactly. like that to be our biggest problem. But you like? Why don't you ever like move to Canada? Have you never, you know, considered that? Um. So I lived in Canada for three and a half years. Up okay. Until December. Uh, right, right, right. And you would wait. You done uni there? Yeah. And where, where are you doing your master's now? Uh, in Paris. In Paris. Okay. Yeah. Nice. Is that where you're going to stay afterwards? Or? I am working towards a career in diplomacy. Um, oh. So hoping to actually be posted in different countries uh, and have two or three years at a certain location and then change. And that is my ultimate, ultimate dream. That's nice. You can become um, the ambassador of uh, um, Paris. Of Sex try though. Man, our French is on point. You don't yes. even know. Yeah, yeah. yeah I was like, His wait a minute. French is more on point. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it probably is. I, I'm, I'm glad I'm getting the accent right. So it's, it's always important. The accent. Oh, right, right, right. The, okay, I'll say something like say. "comment tout belle" and not know what it means. Yeah, yeah right. just, it doesn't mean be, anything. Be, <laughs> it doesn't. <laughs> is that right? Right. That's why. <laughs> <laughs> it just sounds French. I think. That's why. Yeah, exactly. "Comment tout belle." Comment. Comment. Comment means like, how are you? Yeah, yeah. How are you? Oh, okay, okay. Okay. Comma yeah, two, right, comma right. two. That means how are you? No, comma two. How are you? Comma two pel. What does that mean? Comment tu t'appelles? Comment tu t'appelles? Comment est-ce que tu t'appelles? Okay. Means what is your name? Go on. This doesn't make sense at all. It makes sense to me, but if comma tu t'appelles, it means how are you? Okay. No, what no. Is it? it means what is your name? What? Wait. Tu t'appelles. Okay. S'appeler. To Wait, to, pa- to parler français, that means you speak tu French, right? Est-ce que tu parles français? Okay, I'm gonna just stop. No, <laughs> <laughs> I, thought I, I, I thought I was onto something. <laughs> but I thought we found the hole in the French. Yeah, French I was like, language. wait a minute. Wait a minute, I need to talk to someone about yeah. this. Anyway, uh, I think uh, so we're good to wrap things up. So uh, thanks for joining us, everyone. Yeah, thank you podcast. so much for being here. Thank, thank you, you for so joining us. For most. Honest Honestly, I hope you've. En- I know you've enjoyed it, <laughs> but I hope you tell <laughs> all of your friends of how much you've enjoyed it, and Definitely. you know you have good stories to tell in the future. And and sure. join us again. Honestly, whenever you want to come back, yeah, not only on the podcast, but you know to the country. Yay. But you're yeah, a diplomat. So exactly, I mean, hoping to be posted somewhere. in Sully Sunday. Make yeah. sure you like and subscribe. It will help us so much. Thanks for all the support. Turn on the push notifications as well. It will help us a lot. Have a good day. Have a highly okay day. Bye. Bye.